Here's a quick tip. If you're going to be using like a PVC threaded connector to connect this to galvanized water pipe or something to that effect, if you over tighten this it's very easy to split it. Plus as the PVC gets older it tends to get a little more brittle. It may not split immediately but a year or two later the stresses from over tightening a, a, a joint like this can very easily cause this to crack right here. I'm going to show you a way to make this at least 75% stronger. Maybe double the strength. And it's just using a coupler. Now this won't fit on here like this. This is a 3 quarter inch coupler. And this is a 3 quarter inch pipe and 3 quarter inch threaded end. Okay? What you're going to do is you're going to heat that thing up. You heat it up with a hot air blower. Or you can use a propane torch. All you want to do is get that coupling softer so it will stretch and go over that. There you see? Then you simply force that in like that. And then let it cool. That's the first step. You see how easy that was? A little bit of heat and allowed it to go right over. Now all we want to do is just let it cool. The next step is to simply solve it while it weld it on there. And you solve it while it weld it just like you normally would. There it is, we'll get the extra solvent, we'll get the extra cement off there, and we'll let it set for a few minutes to cure. Once it's cured, you have a, a very nice, very strong recessed joint. Now you can either cut this extra part of the coupling off or use it. If you're just using pipe, it will thread on just fine like this. Okay. But if for some reason you need to get that off, it's very easy. You can cut it with a saw. You can cut it with a pipe cutter. Whatever way works for you. Except my cutter won't breach it. So I'm just going to use my saw. So now you've got a stronger coupling that could take additional strain. Just like that. Now that's significantly stronger than the original. Now where this can come in handy is any place you're going to put a metal fitting into this and you want to make sure it's stronger and you're concerned at longevity because invariably what will happen is you'll over tighten the fitting and it won't crack right now but it will eventually crack from that additional stress and strain on that plastic especially when it gets cold in the winter or even in the heat of the summer, eventually that will crack. But this is considerably stronger. Anyway, that's my quick tip. I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. Good. No, don't put your fingers in front of that, honey. All right, hit stop. All right, hit stop.